Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody enjoyed yesterday's video. Those fog lights actually are really, really nice. I'm glad that uh, I'm fortunate enough that they were able to send those to me and get those put in the third gen. Uh, they turned out very, very well. If you guys have not had a chance to watch that video, I'll put a link right up here. You guys can go back and watch it if you so choose. Tonight, I just want to go over just a few parts that um, I had come in for that I've had them for a while. You guys know I showed you a sneak peek on the other day that was laying back there on the table. Um, I've had some other stuff come in to pair with this, so I want to go over them, kind of show you what I went with. Um, still waiting on my shift kit to come in. I think it should be here Wednesday. Um, there's just a couple of items that's going to have to come back apart. Pump's going to have to come off. And put the nylon sealer or nylon seals in there. I know one of you guys told me that uh, I could run the steels. That's fine. But while I'm this far, um, I guess I've never done this, so I'm gonna err on the side of safety. I, I, I know you guys probably know probably a heck of a lot better than I do, but I, I'm just I am me, and that's just the way I like to do things. So um, on the shift kit, I went with the uh, the SK TFOD diesel shift kit. Um, it's just a standard shift kit to increase line pressure from Transgo um, and it comes with a, a couple of different springs and some other stuff, separator plate, all kinds of stuff. So kind of worried about doing that. Uh, I don't know if I want to call it worried, but just a little bit nervous about doing that because it's another step further upon what I have already done and I just something I've never done, but I'd never rebuilt a transmission before either and it actually came out a lot easier than what I had anticipated. So uh, the first thing I want to show you is I did pick up my shifter to go inside the truck. Um, this is the BNM Pro Ratchet. Uh, this was, I bought this used from a friend of mine, Matt Popeil and Popeil Diesel um, around the, uh, out by the Waynesfield area. He has a shop, he has been in business for a while and he does phenomenal work. So. He had this in one of his Fummins trucks that uh, a guy parted out and he asked me if I was interested in it so I went out and purchased it from him. Luckily enough it was a uh, 48 or 47, I don't remember which one, but it's a 3 speed transmission nevertheless so it does have the right sticker on it. Um, one thing that I was kind of unsure of is it being the Pro Ratchet instead of just a, a shifter itself so you're going to start off in park. Go back to reverse, neutral, drive. So, and it does that all the way forward. Then you can go two and one. So, um, and then from there you go two and drive. And then you have your lock up and overdrive switches back here. Now we're not gonna need either one of these because I'm running a anteater. So I will not be running a full manual valve body. So I'm gonna get with B&M and see if I can't purchase another cover and another sticker kit. I think I've saw the sticker kits available on there and but as far as the uh, covers I have not found that yet so and then uh, it will lock out in neutral put your lever forward then you can go to reverse and then back to park so it's just a ratcheting motion I thought that was kind of nice it was something different than I was looking for I was looking for the one that had the lockout handle right here um, but uh, beggars can't be choosers and when you're working with a budget so I was able to pick this up for uh, 220 um, knew they sell for two hundred and thirty dollars I'm sorry four hundred and thirty dollars so um, I was pleasantly happy with paying that for this shifter here so it does have the cable it has everything I need it has this, the uh, linkage bracket down below that will mount on that just below the transmission pan and then it does have the uh, the linkage lever that goes on the valve body so uh, that's one of the things I was able to pick up um, relatively cheap next up to keep everything cool I went with the uh, a derailing transmission cooler. Uh, this is the 13760. It is a 25 row stacked transmission cooler and it has a 500 CFM fan on it and it is a 46,000 BTU per hour trans cooler. So I think this is going to more than take care of the needs of that transmission, I'm hoping. Um, once again, you guys have any different ideas, please let me know. Um, all new to me so uh, this is what I went with I got this from Jigs um, 
and this they had this on their website for uh, $209 and then you had shipping and tax and that because I am in Ohio Jegs is in Ohio so I had to pay Ohio tax so like I said with shipping I forget this came up to like 220 uh, I don't know 230 I can't remember uh, with shipping and tax so like I said this is a derailing this is the 13760 um, it is a it has a 500 CFM electric fan and it is a 46,000 uh, BTU per hour transmission cooler and it is a dash six inlet and outlet so and they have the fittings that come with it right there you can either do barbed that comes with it or you can do the dash six which I'm going with dash six all right, last thing I want to show you guys is, you know, the, the obvious choice with going with fittings is Vibrant. <clears throat> you guys know that I like to search out and find a lot of different innovative products. Um, and I was searching on Amazon, of course, and I found a company called Evil Energy. And I bought all my fittings from Evil Energy. I didn't realize that they were a Chinese fitting, but uh, we're going to give them a try nevertheless. Um, I was able to pick every all this stuff up. I was did get all my fittings. I bought 490s. I got four dash 690s, and then uh, to 6an hose. And then I did pick up two 45s because I wasn't certain on how uh, I was going to come out of the side of the transmission. I know one of them will probably be a 45 and the other one could possibly be a 90. So um, I've got four 90s, two of them for the cooler itself and then one of them possibly for the transmission. And then I also picked up two 45s also and all this stuff will be dash six. And then to connect all this stuff to the transmission, uh, their quarter inch NPT, National Pipe Thread, uh, fittings that come out of the side of the transmission. So I got some quarter by dash six nipples to go into the transmission themselves. So we'll thread those into the cast housing of the, of the main case of the transmission. And then this stuff will just take off from there and go from to the cooler and back to the transmission. So I'm looking at mounting the, the cooler maybe in a spare tire location or all up by the front of the fender well. I'm just not certain exactly where I'm going to go with it yet. You guys have any good ideas, please let me know because I don't know exactly where I'm planning on going. But spare tire area is pretty much the obvious location to go. Or I, I could stay closer. I did get 20 foot of hose. So I'm going to have plenty of hose to be able to mount it pretty much any place I want on the truck. Um, I could go clear up front if I wanted to, but I just don't think I want to go up there. I think I want to keep it back in the back someplace. Since it has the cooling fan, I'll have plenty of, uh, plenty of air movement through it with the cooling fan and also driving down the road to keep the transmission cool, um, I'm hoping. Last thing I have from Evil Energy is... I went ahead and picked up one of their AN wrenches and this will go from uh, zero to dash 16. The only thing that I'm missing yet, and they were on back order, I think, um, was the vice block. Uh, I do have one of those coming, but they should be here this week sometime. So I'm um, looking forward to getting all these fittings and stuff put together and getting this project completed so if you guys are interested in any of these evil energy fittings and wrenches and tools and stuff i'll put a link in the description all this stuff was purchased on amazon so uh check them out uh, quality doesn't look bad so far um like i said just wanted something a little bit different than going with the obvious choice anyway guys just a quick video to show you what some of the things that i have picked up as far as parts wise so yeah we're going to be on hold probably for just a few days um waiting on the uh the ship kit to come in from Transgo and so we probably will turn our attention and do some engine work so um, get that stuff buttoned up get it back together maybe maybe even do a, uh, a start up on the engine and, and do a hot retorque on the head and uh, hopefully call her a day on that on that portion of it um, we still got quite a bit of work to do 
uh, before I can I can do that I can actually do a startup on the engine so it's gonna be just a little bit anyway I think that's pretty much all I have for tonight guys if you don't mind hit that like button give me a thumbs up subscribe if you have not already done so and we'll talk to you guys later on